Hello, welcome to Boomers and Beyond. I'm your host, Nancy Boyle. Today's series is going to be all about leg and core strength and overall balance. The whole practice will be done standing up today. So that's even going to include our centering breath. So stand nice and tall in Tadasana, root your feet down into the ground. Let the sternum and the crown of the head lift and roll the shoulders up and back. Take your right hand just over your heart, right on your sternum, and take your left hand on your belly. And begin to simply breathe. We're going to take five nice deep belly breaths to find a nice centering and grounding sense of body right into this space. So close your eyes and begin to breathe. Full breaths in and out. You might notice how the body expands right out into the hands as you fill up with breath. And how everything settles back down as you let the breath go. Two more nice full breaths here. And one last breath. Opening your eyes and releasing your arms down by your sides. A little shoulder roll as you come back to Tadasana. So we're going to move on into bringing some nice big sun breaths into play here. So we're going to add our arms as we breathe. So the arms are down by the sides to begin. We're going to take five of these big sun breaths. Inhale, sweep the arms out and up. And exhale, let them come back down. Here's the second as we breathe in. And out. And the third, out to the sides, up overhead. Maybe let the gaze go up. That's going to begin to work your balance. Exhale the arms out to the sides and down. And two more. Inhale. And exhale. And the last one. Inhaling. And exhale. So for these next five breaths, same motion with the arms, we're going to come up onto the balls of the feet as we breathe in. So we'll breathe in and lift the heels slightly. And exhale lower. It helps to find a dristy a point in front of you that doesn't move. Your ankles will wobble a little, but that's okay. We're working on balance here. Inhale and exhale. Again, we're going to do five, so we have three more. Inhale the arms out to the side, lifting the heels as you reach overhead, and then lowering. It's all about working and strengthening those ankles as we come up and down. And lastly, here we go. Inhale out to the sides and up. And down. Great job. So we're going to add a little bit of movement here by moving into some sun salutations, simple sun salutations that will include a little forward fold. So on your inhale, sweep the arms up overhead. On your exhale, press the palms together, fold all the way forward. Maybe the hands come to the floor, maybe just to your ankles or your shins. Inhale, lift halfway. And exhale, fold. On your inhale, sweep the arms out to the sides and rise all the way up. Again, we're going to do five. We're in, doing five of a lot of things today. Exhale the hands to your heart center and back by your sides. That was one. Inhale up. And exhale, fold. Inhale, lift halfway. And exhale, fold. 
Inhale, sweep the arms out to the sides. A little bend in the knee is a nice little way to take tension out of the back as you come up. That was three. Inhale, up. And exhale, fold. Inhale, lift. And fold on the exhale. Inhale, reverse. And exhale, the hands through heart center back by your sides. One more, inhale, up. And exhale, fold. Inhale, lift. And fold. And sweep out to the sides, come all the way up. Exhale, the hands to the heart and pause. So we're going to move into lubricating all of our joints beginning with our ankles and really the toes. So we're going to step the left foot back. It has a little bit of a balance element to it because we're standing on one foot and the tops of our top of our left foot. I mean our right foot, excuse me. I get my left and rights confused sometimes. We're going to roll six times. One, two, three, four, five, and six, and reverse. One, two, three, four, five, and six. Take that foot down and take the other foot back. So the left foot will come back and it's always okay to just hold on to a chair if you feel you're a little wobbly. Here we go, one, two, three, four, five, and six, reverse. One, two, three, four, five, and six. Bring that foot down next to the other one. Bring the big toes together, knees together. Bring the hands just above your knees, fingers pointing in between your thighs. And we're going to circle the knees for one, two, three, four, five, and six. Reverse. One, two, three, four, five, and six. Walk your hands up your legs, step your feet just a little bit further apart, maybe as wide as these little hip points, a soft knee, and begin to circle the hips for one, two, three, four, five, and six, reverse. One, two, three, four, five, and six. Step the feet a little bit closer. We're going to work the shoulders. So six backwards rolls. Two, three, four, five, and six. And then forward for one, two, three, four, five, and six. Bring the arms forward. We're working into the wrists. Forearms together, interlace the fingers. And we'll create figure eights right into the wrists. Keep the forearms together. I think that was about six. What do you think? So we're going to stop and take our fingers and move them over one. So to just get a little awkwardness into this uh, interlacing of the fingers the way that you don't usually do it. And then we're going to reverse the direction of those figure eights. Sometimes it's pretty hard to figure out what that direction is once you switch those fingers. But just whatever you do will be fine. Just get right into those wrists. And then release and shake. You might even let everything shake it all over out. Bring your hands down by your sides. Roll your shoulders up and back. And we're going to work onto the, onto the neck. So we're going to draw circles with the nose, about six here. Here's one, two, three, four, five, and six, and then six in the opposite direction. Are you counting? <laughs> That's about six, and then come to neutral. Great. So we're all lubricated up so we can begin to really work our core, really work our legs. So we're going to use the chair for this next series of movements. It's going to work our abdominals. It's going to also work our legs. So with the seat of the chair facing you, face the chair, and then bring your hands down on to the chair. Step back so that you're kind of in a, a nice flat back here. 
and then take your right leg, extend it back, and take your left arm and reach it forward. So we're working our abdominals here, and we're working the muscles in our legs and our back and our glutes as well as we hold. So don't forget to breathe as you just kind of get a sense of strength here. And it's also working our balance. It's a little bit of a balance challenge. So we're going to add on to this challenge and really work our abdominals as well. As you take an exhale, bring your knee and your elbow towards each other. And as you inhale, extend. As you exhale, contract. And then extend. Three more. Exhale. And inhale. Exhale. And inhale. And the last one, exhale, and inhale. Bring that hand and that foot back down to the mat, and we'll switch sides. So we'll take the left foot back. So press out through the heel, flex the foot, turn the, te the toes, the pinky toe, slightly down to square the hips, and then take the right arm forward. Draw your navel into your spine, draw your low ribs in and up towards your heart. Really engage your abdominals here. <clears throat> but try to find some gentleness in the pose as well. So don't grip everything super hard. So we have a phrase in yoga called effort and ease, right? So you want to exert some effort, but you don't want it to be so much effort that you're holding your breath. So here we go, we're going to do those crunches on an exhale, knee and elbow together, and inhale, extend, exhale, contract, and inhale, exhale, and inhale. We have two more, exhale, and inhale, exhale, and extend. Great job. So bring your hand to the chair, bring your foot down. And you might do a couple of little tail wags, if you will, to kind of release the muscles in the low back and the, and the buttocks. And then we'll come all the way up to standing. So we'll do a couple of moves just to release and relax the body before we move on to some balance. So on your inhale, bring your arms up overhead. Hold on to your right wrist with your left fingers. And on an exhale, take a lean over to the left. Inhale, back up. And exhale, switch sides. Take a nice little lean to the other side. Inhale, back up. Release the arms. And then we're simply going to do what we call a little standing waterfall. So you might let the arms kind of sway so that they tap the kidneys in the back as they swing behind you. The hips can start to move along. Just getting rid of tension here. Slowly coming to a nice still stance. So just let the arms slowly begin to stop moving. Coming to Tadasana. So for this next series of movements, you might want to turn your chair around so that the back of the chair is closer to you in case you need to use it for support. And when we practice balance, it's okay to need to use the chair. Don't feel that it's some kind of a failure. Just use it and appreciate that it's there, right? Because over time, your balance will get stronger. And it could be on another given day, it might be easier to balance. Because balance is a very fluid kind of thing. It comes and it goes depending upon what's going on in our mind, how focused we can be. So another way to help you balance um, along with the chair is to find a dristi, a point in front of you on the floor, preferably the lower the point, the more um, helpful it is to keep you balanced. So you want to keep your attention on something that um, helps you focus. We're going to begin our balance movement simply by doing a nice slow march. So we're going to lift one leg and the other very slowly, 10 times on each side. So here we go. We'll start with the right. So we'll go one 
and two, one, and that's two, <laughs> three, as high as you can, and four, five, and six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Great. So now we're going to lift one leg at a time and extend the leg. So we'll lift it bent as we did with that march and we're going to extend it ten times. A little more challenging, maybe the chair comes into play here. So we're going to go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, whoops, eight, nine, and ten. Great. And then we'll go to the other side, a little more challenging, right? And you might feel a little burn in that thigh. It's a real workout for your legs. And your legs are very important in supporting balance. So we're going to go to the other side, lift the left leg. So if it's possible not to hold the chair, that's great, just have it nearby. <coughs> so here we go, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Bring that foot down. So you might have noticed that I slowed down <laughs> on occasion, and sometimes you just have to slow down to catch your balance, let your body kind of recalibrate your stance and then you can move on. So don't hesitate to go at a different pace than I go. So we might want to just kind of march that out a little bit. That can be really intense. We're going to move on to some flowing tree poses. So we're going to begin with our hands at our heart in namaste or prayer pose. And we're going to go out to the side <clears throat> with our foot and raise our arms. And then we're going to come back and kickstand into tree pose. So it's going to look like that. And we're going to do that five times. So we'll begin in Tadasana. So here we go. We'll go one, two, three, sometimes if you smile it helps, four, five. So we're going to now hold in tree and you can stay with your heel at your ankle or you can bring it up. Maybe you use the chair, maybe you don't. And maybe you grow. Letting the breath be nice and full and fluid. That allows a little suppleness. We're going to sway a little, just like a tree does. And then bring your hands back to your heart and turn the knee out. And then bring it back down to the ground. Great job. So what we do on one side, we must do on the other. That's what yoga is all about. So we're going to do this on the other side. So the left toes will go out and the arms will reach up. So here we go. One. And two, and three, and four, and five. So here you can stay with the toes touching, heel on ankle, or if you'd like to explore a different posture, a different position for that bent leg, then go ahead and do that. Find your dristi. Use the chair if you need to. Don't forget to breathe or smile. And maybe you bring the hands up.
smiling tree. <laughs> and then bring the hands together. Turn the leg out and bring the foot down. And maybe you give a little shake. A little shake of one leg, shake of the other. Maybe a little wagging of the tail. So our final balance posture today will be a yoga pose called Warrior Three. So you might want to face your chair. And here again, you can use the chair for support should you need to. We're going to bring our hands to our heart in prayer pose and then step the right foot back. You want to elongate through the front of the body. Come onto the toes of the back foot a little micro bend in the front leg. And then we're going to bring the torso over the front leg and let the back toes float up. You can keep your hands at your heart if you like, or you can bring them back to Dekasana arms, or you can hold the chair, whatever works for you. Find that dristy, find that Nice, fluid breath. And then bring that back foot down to meet the other one. Nice job. So we'll go to the other side. We're going to step the left foot back. Nice bend in that front leg. Come onto the toes of that back foot. And then slowly let the torso float forward. Find that center of gravity. Let the left leg start to lift. Maybe the toes stay on the ground, and that's really okay. Again, you can bring your arms back to Dekasana arms. You can hold on to the chair, or you can stay in prayer hands, pressing palms and fingers together. Finding that dristy, that point of focus that really helps you balance and keeping the breath fluid. And then bringing that foot down to meet the right. So to release the tension of all of this balance work, we're just going to come into a nice little rag doll. So inhale the arms up overhead. And then come all the way forward, bend the knees as much as you need to, let the arms dangle perhaps, and bring a little sway to the torso, or hold on to opposite elbows and bring a little sway. Letting all the tension pour down, maybe a little nod or shake of the head would feel good. Always want to engage your abdominals, draw your navel in towards your spine. And again, keeping the knees bent as much as you need to. You want to honor that low back. And then releasing the elbows if you're holding them. Just begin to walk your hands up your legs. Keep your chin tucked until you're all the way up. And then roll the shoulders up and back. And bring the head to neutral. Beautiful. <sighs> Wasn't that a great practice today? Don't you feel strong and balanced? I hope so. So we're going to end the practice with a standing centered breath, just as we began. So take your right hand on over your heart or your sternum, bring the left hand onto your belly. Just relax everything, shoulders melt down, the legs are strong. Feel the rooting of the feet into the mat almost as if you're growing roots right down through the mat into the ground. And then let the crown of the head and the sternum lift. And for a few breaths at this ending of the practice, settling, letting all of the benefits kind of be absorbed into the body through this still pose. Allowing your mind to rest on the breath. You 
might even rest awareness on some sense of aliveness or vibration in the body. We've created quite a bit of energy as we've gone through this practice today. So see if you can find it, hold on to it, and bring it out into your day. And then slowly open your eyes. Bring your hands together. Bow your head. Until next time, namaste. I hope you enjoyed this video today. If you did, help me know it by hitting the like button below. You can hit the save button so that you can come back and practice this practice over and over again easily. Hitting the red subscribe button will allow you to come back to this channel and explore all that it has to offer. It will also allow you to be notified when new videos are posted. Consider sharing this channel with your friends and your family. And I always welcome comments, so please feel free to comment in the comment section below. I hope to see you again soon. Until then, 